It's your returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka Zerodotus Trapladun. Leah Thomas is a transgender swimmer at the University of Pennsylvania who competed as a man for three years, but started breaking records last year when he decided to compete as a woman. Thomas went from being ranked number 462 in the men's 200-yard freestyle to number one in the women's 200-yard freestyle. He also went from number 65 in the men's 500-yard freestyle to number two in the women's 500-yard freestyle. Let's hear how the NCAA recently changed its guidelines in response to this female swimmer who has higher levels of tea in the water than the Boston Harbor. This morning, the NCAA facing criticism after adopting new rules for transgender athletes. The updated guidelines punting the question of their eligibility to each sport's governing body. The NCAA releasing a statement saying it voted for a sport by sport approach that balances fairness, inclusion and safety for all who compete. Trans college athletes will now be required to document sports specific testosterone levels before their championship selection. Thomas went through puberty as a male named Will, shown here doing his own cover up before Penn started handling it for him. USA Swimming's rules required a year of testosterone suppression, but that can't reverse Thomas's advantages as a swimmer, such as his more developed heart, lungs, muscles, and hands. That makes Thomas the second Will in Philly to make headlines due to cheating women. If a sport doesn't have a policy or a governing body, then they apply the Sports International Federation's rules. If no federation exists, then they follow their International Olympic Committee's policy. The head of the NCAA panel also releasing a statement saying, we are steadfast in our support of transgender student athletes and the fostering of fairness across college sports. The NCAA cares so much about fairness that it's doing absolutely nothing to fight for it. That feel when you pass the buck onto schools while women are struggling to pass the young buck in the pool. Chris Mosier, the first openly transgender athlete on Team USA, competing in the Sprint Duathlon, is among the disappointed critics of the updated guidelines, saying the NCAA missed an opportunity to stand up for trans athletes' rights. It's going to be difficult for both the NCAA to manage compliance with these rules, to figure out what they need to do to be in compliance with these rules. I'm really worried about the, the transgender and non-binary young people who are seeing this policy, who are wondering if it's possible for them to be their authentic selves and continue to play the sports that they love. Thomas's authentic self is a man and nobody is stopping him from competing as one. The issue isn't competing as your authentic self, but securing an authentic win. This comes as roughly 280 anti-LGBTQ plus bills have been proposed in state legislatures, targeting transgender youth access to sports and health care. But the debate over collegiate transgender athletes was largely sparked by trans swimmer Leah Thomas. Thomas smashing records this year on the University of Pennsylvania's women's team after competing on the men's team the previous three years. I have to like readjust my goals, struggling to be anywhere close to where I was. Struggling, cruising, pick both. Penn Athletics supporting Thomas, saying we will work with the NCAA regarding her participation under the newly adopted standards. But we'll sue someone if forced to ban Thomas from swimming on the women's team. Penn will do whatever it takes to ensure that Thomas can look down at everyone on the podium and the locker room. Prominent voices weighing in on the controversy, attacking it from a different angle. Caitlyn Jenner condemning the NCAA and trans inclusion on Fox News. Number one, biological boys, I've said from the beginning, should not be playing in women's sports. We need to protect women's sports. And swimming legend Michael Phelps on CNN. I believe that we all should feel comfortable with who we are in our own skin. Um, but I think sports should all be played at an even playing field. Kaylee Hartung, ABC News, Los Angeles. Thomas recently lost a 100-yard freestyle event to Isaac Hennig, a trans male who hadn't started testosterone treatment yet. According to teammates and spectators, Thomas lost on purpose to downplay his many advantages over female swimmers and make the competition seem fair. But the playing field is the one bumpy area that he can't level with a tuck back. The NCAA should have taken a hard stance on this issue instead of leaving it to governing bodies, many of which allowed this farce in the first place. Penn loves the current arrangement. After all, Ivy League universities are used to getting huge returns on their endowments. Notably, schools aren't fighting for trans men to compete against men because everyone knows that they won't dominate. Trans men like Mosier might look like Uncle Pennybags, but trans women like Thomas are the ones dominating the game due to superior development across the board. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now.